Good morning. Today we have finally reached Jeremiah chapter fifty-two, the last chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Well, Jeremiah is a very hard book to read, isn't it? Throughout the book, we read that God is telling Israel, "You are sinning. You there will be judgment. Repent before it is too late." But they ignore God. And God kept telling Israel, "You are sinning. Judgment is coming. Repent before it is too late." Not only did they ignore God, they even vowed that to continue their own way. And finally, the day of judgment arrived in Jeremiah fifty-two verse four. So, in the ninth year of Zedekiah's reign, on the tenth day of the tenth month. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, marched against Jerusalem with his whole army. They encamped outside the city and built siege works all around it. It was awful, totally lopsided, totally devastating. Babylon was then the superpower of the day. Israel was just a small nation. It's like the U.S. sending its entire firepower on a small island like Singapore. And for months, the awful army of Babylon surrounded Jerusalem, besieging it, cutting off all the supplies to it, and as a result, there was a severe shortage of food in the city. And fifty-two verse six tells us, by the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine in the city had become so severe that there was no food for the people to eat. Then the city wall was broken through, and the whole army fled. The situation was so terrible, so hopeless, so devastating that the Israelite army abandoned and fled the city. My friends, this is the consequence of sin. It will be very devastating, very painful. Our God is just. His word is true. He will surely do what He said He will do. Do not make light of His word. He said, "All who sin will be punished. All who disobey Him will be disciplined." Or who ignore his warning will be penalized. Our God is just; He will surely do what He said He will do. While judgment is excruciating, all is not lost, and there is good news. Our God is just, but He is also faithful. Earlier in Jeremiah verse、uh, chapter twenty-five verse eleven, God had said, "This whole country will become a desolate wasteland." And this nation will serve the king of Babylon seventy years. Do you see a glimpse of hope? Seventy years. The pain will only last seventy years for the unfaithful, unrepented Israelites. And truly, the book of Jeremiah and Jeremiah ended with a glimpse of good news. The last four verses, the very last four verses of chapter fifty-two, the last chapter of book of Jeremiah, read. In the thirty-seventh year of the exile of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the year Awal Maduk became king of Babylon. On the twenty-fifth day of the twelfth month, he released Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and freed him from prison. He spoke kindly to him and gave him a seat of honor higher than those of the other kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiakim. Put aside his prison clothes, and the rest of his life ate regularly at the king's table. And day by day, the king of Babylon gave Jehoiakim a regular allowance as long as he lived, till the day he he died. Jehoiakim was the second last king of Judah. He was previously held captive in Babylon. He was a king, so he represented the nation, and therefore he was punished for their sins. And in prison, he didn't have dignity as a king, and even as a human being. But his condition changed. His was shown. He was shown grace. Amazing, isn't it? God is telling us there's still chance. There's still hope. So, my friends, the message is very clear. When God wants us, don't ignore Him. But if you are in a desolate place, He has provided you a way out. He has given us His Son, who takes away our sin. So confess your sins before Him, turn from your way, and submit your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. 
He is faithful and just and will forgive you of all your sins and purify you of all unrighteousness. But please don't be mistaken, there will be a final judgment. On the day of the final judgment, He will finally destroy all who have sinned and not cling on to His Son. God is both faithful and just. He will do what He said He will do. He will give chance, but He will also execute the final judgment. So don't be caught off guard. Cling on to Jesus today. Confess your sins before Him. Turn from your way and submit your life to Lord Jesus Christ. Have a good day.